Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Shoe Fly Update Show, our last one for the month of January, just one day to go, which means we're turning the page to February. With it comes one of the big events in the CrossFit season, the Open, which we're going to highlight on the episode today. We also had a uh, Olympic weightlifting meet that happened yesterday. We'll do a little recap of and just everything else you need to know for this upcoming week so to kick it off street's going to tell us what we can expect from the programming side of things and also the open which is just a few weeks away yeah so um first off talking about the programming i'm sure you guys have been uh noticing the theme we're we're partnering up a lot of movements that we think will go together so couplets triplets um, we're also working in time domain of mostly like seven to 12 minutes. Uh, that's a pretty common uh, time domain for an open workout. So a lot of those, um, you'll notice even the Tuesday workouts have been kind of split up so that you're doing multiple workouts within that seven to 12 minute range. Uh, so we're going to keep hitting that pretty hard. Uh, as far as our weightlifting goes, we are going to be uh, squatting still. That's a constant. Um, we're going to be trying to work at that stamina squats as well. And uh, we're deadlifting. Uh, the deadlift has showed up in the open the last couple of years. And so we're going to continue to be pulling weights off the ground and, and pairing that with some movements that we think we'll see in the open as well. So even though it's not like your traditional strength training or strength program that, you, that you've seen in the past, we are definitely still mixing in strength movements along with some higher skill gymnastics and some things that get you out of, your, out of breath and your heart rate nice and high. So. Uh, we're still getting stronger, still lifting weights, but we're just kind of thinking of it in that more crossfit way and less of the traditional strength way. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Nothing's changing. And then uh, with the Open, the Open is 25 days away. If your blood pressure just went up, don't worry. We're all in the same boat um, because on our end, that seems very close. Uh, so it's right around the corner. And we've been working to make this open uh, super exciting. Last year, we did the uh, Cobra Kai versus Miyagi Doge. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, we we really want to have a good theme this year. And so this year, we are doing drum roll, Harry Potter. So Harry Potter is going to be the theme this year. It is the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to be having four teams as opposed to two teams. So there's going to be um, more of a division in the gym, uh, which should make it very competitive. And each team will represent a different house. Uh, so if you're a Harry Potter fan, or even if you're not, you're probably somewhat familiar with it. Um, so you have Gryffindor, uh, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Um, so those are going to be our four houses. Each team will have their own logo, their own crest, and a different color t-shirt. And everyone who signs up for the open will get a t-shirt and it's going to have an awesome logo on the front, uh, which our very own Blair Jacobs is working on. And then on the back, you'll be representing your team. So it'll have your actual house crest on the back. Um, and everybody who signs up for the shoe fly open uh, is going to be getting a t-shirt. So the shoe fly open is $30 and that goes to the gym. So when we sign up for that, uh, we're charging your water fire or you're bringing that money in. And that does not register you for the CrossFit HQ open. All right. So just want to talk about the difference here. So if you're interested in ranking yourself uh, against everyone in the world who is signing up for the open, you still need to go to CrossFit.com or games.crossfit.com and you need to register that way. And I believe it's 20 bucks um, to do that. For the shoe fly open, um, that money goes to the gym and you get a t-shirt out of it. And you also get custom leaderboard that we create for you um, with just everybody in the gym. We also have age divisions. So we're gonna be uh, having three different groups and then we have the RX and then we have the scale. So you get to rank yourself in that way. Every time you do the open workout, you're scoring points for your team. But just because you did the workout, doesn't mean you can't score points doing other things. So judging, volunteering, cleaning, um, dressing up, because we're always going to have a theme each week. And those are all opportunities for you to um, basically get points for your team. 
if you are doing really well in a workout and you are in that like top three for your division, you'll have the ability to get extra bonus points for your team, which is really cool. Uh, motivates you to really try hard in the workouts and do the best that you can. Um, but also know that your effort, no matter what you do on that workout, you're going to be helping your team out. So four teams this year. So get excited about that. We will be divvying you guys up into different teams. So don't worry when you sign up, you'll fall in one of those houses and we'll be releasing that um, after we get everyone signed up. And then uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to have multiple teams this year instead of just two teams. Uh, so every year we kind of evolve into a new version of the open and, and this is just the next step. We have quite a bit of people in the gym, so we should easily be able to fill uh, four teams. Um, so that's the, the open information that we have right now. We will be attaching a document to this that you can sign up for. And all we're going to need is your name and your, your shirt size and letting us know if it's okay if we charge your water fire or not. Um, outside of that, you'll be signed up for the shoe fly open and you won't have to do anything else. If you want to sign up for the CrossFit Open, you will need to go to games.crossfit.com and sign yourself up for the CrossFit Open online. If you have any questions at all about how to do this, reach out to me, reach out to Brad, uh, or any of the other coaches can help you out. Um, we'll be happy to make sure you get signed up for exactly you want to what you want to do, all right? Um, so I'm going to pass this off to Brad so he can kind of talk about what went on this weekend and then what to look forward to ahead at the gym. Yeah, so the Open, really exciting, coming up just around the corner. Yesterday, a crew of folks went down to ECU, and they had an Olympic weightlifting competition, which we get the chance to do some of those lifts in our CrossFit classes, but when you go to an official weightlifting meet, you get three opportunities to lift the most weight you can on the snatch, and then you get three opportunities to lift the most weight you can on the clean and jerk. So Jacob, Edwin, and myself all went down. Chelsea was down there coaching us, and we had a number of family and friends in the stands supporting. It was a really fun, fun meet. It was Jacob's first meet, and he went six for six on the platform, so hit every single lift, which was so cool to see. Edwin and myself both went five for six, which was a lot of fun, uh, hitting some PRs for meets in there along the way. And it's just a really cool vibe and scene to support other weightlifters from other gyms. Some people, that's their primary form of fitness. Some people like to do some CrossFit and weightlifting. So all different types of athletes down there. So you might have seen some folks posting on social media, but it was a really cool event. And that is part of our Shoe Fly Barbell Club. Uh, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're at the gym meeting at 730. Chelsea does all the programming. We're going to be starting a new cycle this week, and the new cycle is going to actually be looking at complexes. So that means the weight will probably drop, be a little bit lighter, but this is also a, in an attempt to help us get ready for the Open as well, because last year in the Open, we saw a max lift, but it actually was in the form of a complex where you had to put multiple lifts together without letting go of the barbell. So if you are interested in learning how to move the barbell a little bit more effectively or working on your complexes to get ready for the open, pop in to the Shoe Fly Barbell Club on Tuesday or Thursday evenings at 7.30. Uh, there's a coach there who will guide you through it and it's a great way to get a little bit more proficient in moving the barbell around. And if you want to invest in a singlet and sign up for one of these Olympic weightlifting meets, you can do that as well. They're a fun opportunity to, to challenge yourself in your fitness. So that's what's coming up with the Shoe Fly Barbell Club and a little recap on this past weekend. Um, on the program front, we've got a program that's going to be running over the next month. It's called Intentional Habits. Uh, I'm helping to facilitate that program. It's going to be a self-guided exploration into building some habits that you might like to help move towards some of the goals or intentions you have. So there's some videos and some exercises. If you are interested in jumping into that, feel free to reach out and I can give you some more information about what that's going to uh, look like. In terms of the membership side of things, we've got one birthday coming up this week, Brian Slusher celebrating his birthday. So if you get a chance to see Brian at the gym, be sure to wish him a happy birthday. That's what we've got on tap for this upcoming week and the, the, towards the end of the month with the Open starting on February 24th. 
We're really looking forward to seeing everyone at the gym this upcoming week. And if you need anything at all as you're getting ready for the open or working towards your fitness and health goals, feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to seeing you at the gym this week. Bye, Bye everybody.